We're an immersive virtual reality um, development company, so we do trainings and uh, architectural visualization, product development, and we're doing that in the diversity and inclusion space, so allowing people to stand in someone else's shoes and really experience the workplace to create greater empathy and also allow behavioral training of how to be an inclusive leader. I grew up in multiple countries, including Pakistan and Thailand, and I went to international boarding schools there. My professors, a few of them were from Harvard, and they encouraged me to apply for grad school at Harvard. So I studied cognitive science and behavioral theory. We started this company to, to address the gap in the diversity and inclusion training space. Right now, from research, we can see that training is currently ineffective and sometimes counterproductive. You know, I was feeling this that pain, and then on, on the other end, my partner and his team were VR developers. And in their current company, they also were feeling pains. They didn't feel like they were being given the resources to take VR to where the potential was. Both feeling gaps in our spaces were like, hey, there's so much more that we can do in this. And so Vector was born. We love working in Ohio. We've been able to connect with a lot of uh, larger organizations. And then also finding a community, probably not where most entrepreneurs would think that they'd find you know, the traditional places that you would go to get help. We've actually found you know, just in individuals who are super supportive. My biggest um, advice for entrepreneurs would be to really create boundaries. So saying, hey, I'm gonna stop work at this time, every day, like make it a habit, and really take time for yourself in terms of health. For me, this is a personal passion because of my upbringing. I've been marginalized and, and othered in multiple ways. So it, it's a personal passion and now it's come to life. <laughs>